Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I've brought you to a very little small location on the East Coast. Now I love taking you to big places and well-known places, but today I've taken you to somewhere that a lot of people probably don't even realize it's here. It is very unique. It's sandwiched between Bacton and Cromer in North Norfolk. Today, we're in Munsley. So we start the tour here, just outside Munsley Inshore Lifeboat, and we take a trip down this windy road. And what I love about this road, it really does remind me of uh, what you would say a Postman Pat town. You remember Postman Pat? Or if you've ever seen it, you'll know what I mean, these small windy roads. And it really does remind me of being somewhere up north, maybe in the Lake District. And that's what's unique about it, is because we're here in Norfolk. Glimpses of the sea look and some really beautiful houses at the same time. That's the Norfolk Beach House. Is that rentable? I'm not sure. I think what makes it feel really northern are these um, cobbled walls and the brick paving along here and these little cottages. Obviously driving up here, you've got to be well careful because it's pretty much only a single lane, even though it's two-way traffic. And on the corner of this road, this has got to be the strangest house ever. All I can see is the chimney and what looks like a wall and door. So the first site we come to, when you've been walking, get a drink at the Ship Inn. It's also got beach access down here as well. We'll come to that in just a little bit. There's also a, uh, a surf hire place too. And I keep saying to myself, I'm gonna start to do a little bit of uh, bodyboarding and paddle boarding, but by the time I get around to doing it, some will probably be over. Places to get yourself a, some places to get yourself a drink there, and some shops. So just like Chroma, and I would say Overstrand, the thing that Munsley has going for it is this deep history trail um, that goes along the coast here in North Norfolk, where you can discover some pretty amazing stuff about what it used to be like here. We talked about Dogland in Chroma before. Again, just look how busy the beach is today. Do you know what? I never ever see people use these anymore. How much is it? It's 20p, 50... Is it 20p or 50p? <laughs> I love the fact that it always says there, do not look at the sun. As a kid, that's the first thing I would have done. There's the main entrance to Munsley Beach. This is also a blue flag beach as well this year. So the water quality and the cleanliness of the beach. It's also got a lifeguard on here too. 
And coming up here is a very small building. It's the Munsley Museum, which is believed to be the smallest museum in the country. Inside the museum, there's photographs, prints, illustrating local fishing and trade from the 19th century. They also have information of bones found off the coast, including a woolly mammoth, elephant, and a hippopotamus. So what has Munsley got? Well, seafront gardens, You've got a little beach hut over there and some amusements and an adventure golf. That pretty much sums up what's in Munsley. And randomly, just behind the seafront, you've got this all-weather pitch for basketball and football, and it's actually pretty big. And not many seaside villages have their own skate park too. Always reminds me of like a swimming pool that needs to be filled with water. And randomly an outside gym in Munsley. Just give these a go. How do I do it? Oh, I see, right. <laughs> Trying to do this whilst holding a camera, not a good idea. I assume with this one, you just sit down, put your feet up. Oh, oh yes. It's working my calf muscles, like I need to use them anymore. Oh, I know this one. Oh, I can't use it, it's padlocked. This one basically, I think, you put your hands on there and you just swing left to right and it kind of works your lower body bits. That's out of use, but I'm not quite sure what it does. So it gives you an idea of things you can do in Munsley other than the beach. They've also got a golf course and a fishing lake the gold park which we just visited, and the outside gym. Again, something we see in Cromer and Sheringham a lot, taken from the beach, all the flint that's been used in the walls and in the houses as well. I can't say I've ever seen a house or a shop that has windows like that. It's kind of like stained glass windows, look, with the ships at the top. And a brief look in the village itself, we come up to this beautiful little post office. There's a couple of tiny shops and a cafe too. And randomly, there's a small little clock just up there. That is so tiny. So let's head down to the beach, the main draw for coming to Munsley. The sea looks gorgeous today. I always have people commenting on the video saying, do I do something with the color of the sea to make it look like that? No, on good days like that, it just looks like that. See all the beach huts down here look lined up. I mean, this view is so typically British seaside, isn't it? With the beach huts there and the beach. I mean, that's the thing about Norfolk, right? They've got so many different beaches, but each of them are so unique. Just at the bottom here, They've got a great little cafe that has windows looking out to sea. So no matter what time of the year you come down, you can always have a great view. So as always, flip-flops off. Oh, beautiful. It does seem like a popular place to come and learn to surf and to do paddle boarding as well. So I've had some requests to go to Backton and also to Walcott. So I thought I'd quickly have a trip here. There's not much really to see in Backton other than the gas terminal. The beach is pretty impressive. 
And in July 2019, a scheme commenced to deposit almost 2 million cubic meters of sand, forming around about a six kilometer, four mile artificial dune. It costs 20 million pounds, and the scheme is gonna protect the gas terminal, as well as the villages of Bacton and Walcott, which has suffered badly during storm surges recently. And as you can see, the beach is pretty nice now. So that was my brief trip to Munsley, Bacton and Walcott. As always, please make sure you give the video a thumbs up. If you're brand new here, please hit subscribe. Don't forget there are loads of ways to support me on Patreon and PayPal. The links are in the description. I'll see you next time.